Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. It appears that Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk wasn't joking when in January he claimed that both the refreshed Model S and Model X would come with an infotainment system powered by a new powerful gaming computer. By powerful he meant up to 10 teraflops of processing power, which would potentially enable Tesla passengers to enjoy playing such masterpieces of gaming industry as The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Cyberpunk 2077 right in their vehicles. During its recent virtual Computex 2021 keynote, AMD Chief Executive Officer Dr. Lisa Su confirmed that AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs are indeed going to be used in Tesla's flagship sedan and SUV. Today, many consumer devices, from Sony PlayStation 5 to Xbox to the Samsung's next flagship mobile Exynos system on chip, are based on AMD's RDNA 2 GPU architecture. So, configuring the new Tesla infotainment system with AMD Ryzen processors, coupled with AMD's RDNA 2 graphics, signifies AMD's commitment to creating hardware that's designed to take high-performance gaming to the next level. In her keynote, Dr. Su noted that AMD's RDNA 2 GPU architecture would power the infotainment system in the new Tesla's Model S and Model X, and it would offer insane amounts of computing power, akin to current generation consoles like the Sony PS5. The CEO also remarked that RDNA 2 graphics would not only bring world-class performance, incredible visual fidelity, and immersive experiences to laptops and gaming consoles, but also electric cars. We are really just getting started with RDNA 2, so you might be surprised to learn the next place you will find RDNA 2 graphics. It's actually on the road in the EV market with the new Tesla Model S and Model X, Sue noted. If you can recall, Elon Musk once stated that the revamped Model S and Model X's infotainment systems would be based on Tesla's gaming arcade platform. The updated vehicles would be coming with two screens. The main 17-inch one with the resolution of 2,200 by 1,300 pixels and a new backseat entertainment system. Tesla's claim that rear passengers in its EVs will use wireless controllers to play games right from their backseats. The AMD CEO noted that RDNA 2 graphics would kick in when playing AAA games that demand tons of processing power. This new technology is a replica of how some laptops and other consumer devices juggle integrated and discrete graphics card to boost energy efficiency. The AMD RDNA 2 architecture should allow Tesla's built-in gaming systems to unlock the same level of energy-efficient experiences and true-to-life graphics for game junkies. With Tesla's RDNA 2 graphics system and AAA gaming capability confirmed, the new Model S and Model X are on course to becoming EVs with the most advanced gaming computers on the road. We've got an embedded AMD Ryzen APU powering the infotainment system in both cars, as well as a discrete RDNA 2-based GPU that kicks in when running AAA games, providing up to 10 teraflops of computing power, Dr. Lisa Su said. We are thrilled to be working with Tesla to bring the power of Ryzen and Radeon to their newest flagship cars and look forward to giving gamers a great new platform for a AAA video game, she added. Interestingly enough, this is not the first time we found out that Tesla's Model S and Model X would be equipped with an AMD Ryzen processor. News about AMD RDNA 2 GPU was first leaked in January of 2020 when a reputable tech leaker Patrick Schur revealed that Tesla was looking into using AMD chips for its flagship electric cars. Even a block diagram of Tesla's new gaming computer emerged earlier this year giving hints that the new Model S will be using the Navi 23 GPU graphics chip, a derivative of the Navi 2 SKUs and the smallest of the bunch. According to Patrick Schur, the Navi 21 GPU will be featured on the high-end and flagship designs, whereas the AMD Radeon RX 6800M Navi 22 will be centered on the mainstream segment. The Navi 23 GPU graphics chips, on the other hand, will be lined up for the entry-level segment, though that's a match for existing consoles. 
Another block diagram provided by Tesla Motors themselves also confirms that the AMD Radeon RX 6600M Navi 23 chip is indeed going to power the in-dash infotainment system of the next generation Tesla cars. As per the diagram, the Navi 23 GPU features a 128-bit bus interface with four 2GB DRAM modules, which would allow for 8 GBs of GDDR6 memory and 32 MB Infinity Cache. This Radeon RX 6600M chip that's better for epic 1080p gaming will operate at 14 Gbps and deliver a total bandwidth of 224 gigabytes per second. AMD says the Navi 23 GPU will connect to the main B2B connector via a PCIe Gen 3 X8 link. Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted last weekend that the Model S Plaid Plus, which includes AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs, would start shipping on the 10th of June. The vehicle is coming with a price tag of $80,000. In a separate story, Tesla battery supplier Cato is reportedly planning to build a new electric car battery gigafactory near Tesla's Giga Shanghai in China. The new battery cell plant is expected to expand Cato's seniority as the world's largest battery manufacturer, as well as help Tesla in its EV production efforts in China, where its sales demand continues to surge. As initially reported by Reuters, Cato's new facility will be built near Tesla's Giga Shanghai and will be located in the Fangxian district, southeast of downtown Shanghai. Cato's new plant is expected to produce 80 gigawatt hours of battery cells per year and supercharge approximately 800,000 electric cars yearly. The projected production volume is expected to supplement the current capacity of 69.1 gigawatt hours and add 77.5 gigawatt hours. Cato started supplying lithium iron phosphate batteries to Tesla in February of 2020, after the automaker began the mass production of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Since then, Cato's supply of LFP battery cells has helped the EV maker attain the title of the most popular EV manufacturer in China in 2020. Now, Cato looks to further solidify its battery deal with Tesla through a new facility that would help the automaker accelerate the production at its Gigafactory Shanghai by securing more battery cell supplies. The partnership would also help Tesla sustain the growth it has experienced for the past year in the country. Last year, Tesla was China's most popular electric car company, ranking ahead of the Saig GM Wulong joint venture partnership that brought the Chinese the most budget friendly electric car. Based on the information received, Ketel is also considering setting up a global sales operation and research center in Shanghai, as it's experiencing challenges in retaining and hiring staff at its head office. The company is planning to recruit at least 5,000 workers who will assist in the production of cell-to-chassis batteries. For starters, cell-to-chassis batteries, or CDC, is a new technology where EV cells are integrated directly onto the chassis of a car. According to Cato Chairman, cell-to-chassis batteries are capable of reaching 500 miles of range per single charge, which is a considerable boost from the current 290-mile range that made-in-China Model 3s currently get. The company plans to roll out the tech in the next few years. Tesla has been utilizing LFP batteries from other suppliers in China, like LG Chem. Earlier in May, there were also rumors that the automaker was in talks with EVE Energy, another supplier of cheaper LFP battery cells in China. And now, reports indicate that LG Chem is launching a nickel-dominant battery cathode for Tesla's made-in-China Model Ys. LG Chem's nickel-cobalt manganese aluminum cathode is composed of a substantial amount of nickel, approximately 85% nickel, 5% cobalt, 5% manganese, and 5% of aluminum. The increased nickel content in LG Chem's and CMA cathode aligns with the automaker's battery goals that CEO Elon Musk hinted at during the second quarter 2020 earnings call in January. Musk talked about awarding a giant contract to any battery manufacturer that could offer the automaker huge amounts of nickel. According to Mr. Musk, nickel could contribute to extended ranges for its electric vehicles. As the standards for EV range continue to rise due to the competition in the sector, Tesla still holds high regard for its substantial EPA range ratings. LG Chem's LG Energy Solution will also supply the NCMA 2170 cells to General Motors for their Hummer EVs, according to Business Career Reports. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now.
We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.